Benjamin Franklin and his kite. He was famous for it. Born January 17, 1706, Franklin was a noted author, inventor, diplomat, politician, scientist, founding father of the United States, and all around polymath. Franklin's kite experiments with electricity eventually led to the production of the Franklin Rod, a metal pole placed on top of vulnerable structures to absorb the huge currents from lightning struck down by the sky. He came up with bifocals by combining convex lenses for close viewing in the lower half of a frame and the least convex lenses in the upper half. The glass harmonica or hydrocrystallophone is a musical instrument Franklin mechanicalized with glass bowls inspired by his love for playing wet fingers around the rims of crystal glasses. Musical tones by means of friction. Franklin wrote crucial papers on population growth, meteorology, heat conduction and evaporation, which would lead to air conditioning and refrigerators. He improved in-home heating efficiency, charted what we now know as the Gulf Stream from his experiences of the varying time differences while traveling in opposite directions across the Atlantic. He even studied bioluminescence and the stilling of water waves by a surface layer of oil. Franklin's thoughts on conservation of charge and the wave theory of light were considered important contributions to physics, and as Postmaster General, Franklin created the odometer to plot the most efficient routes. He was instrumental in raising money for the first public hospital in America, for founding the first American college, the Academy and College of Philadelphia, and for founding the first library of book circulation, and for founding America's first fire department. He invented the extension arm, also known as a reacher or grabber, for plucking books from high above, and modified the reading chair to serve as a library stepladder. Subsequently, we now have transformers and weight assistant robotic arms. He left 200 year trust to the cities Philadelphia and Boston, accruing interest of $7 million, and as a boy invented a pair of swimming fins which strapped onto his hands to support a more efficient swim. As an outspoken proponent of productive daylight use, Franklin introduced the idea of daylight savings time and served as a delegate to the Philadelphia Convention, where his signature appeared in the Constitution. Paying it forward or returning a good deed by passing it on to someone in need was a principle of Franklin's, also known as generalized reciprocity. He published the nation's first political cartoon with his own printing company, printed some of the first paper money and made street lamps with panes of flat glass and a funnel instead of the traditional lesser efficient glass spheres. Before viruses were understood, he researched the common cold and found it was passed from person to person through the air, discovered that lead was poisonous to humans and invented a 24 hour clock featuring a face with 4 hours per rotation. Ben Franklin was arguably one of the most influential inventors in history, but he never patented a single one of his inventions, opting instead to give his ideas away for the common good. He was one of the first to be outspoken about exercise and just prior to his death suggested the idea of suspended animation, but noted that science had not yet advanced to the point where such a thing would be possible. It was worth the thinking, wouldn't you agree? So the next time you see a fire truck spring forward or whip out the old harmonica at your next dinner party, just remember, Ben Franklin was there.